and welcome back my gardening friends well the garlic doesn't look very happy the first this is the first time i've had this much much rust uh, or other damage this is the only elephant garlic in this bed that's actually produced a scape that's uh, edible but the garlic that i planted late october has done a lot better the weather hasn't been good throughout the autumn so i planted some surplus cloves in this bed so we'll see what the difference is whether we did plant them a little bit early but there again it's the weather let's blame the weather it's never me it's never you so let's start with the red russian i had this off william coleman oh years and years ago i do plant it deep Ooh. stems are a little bit uh, on the outside but on the inside it's a bit soft there but we've got to let it dry but i do i haven't been taking off some of the skins before letting it dry and they've been absolutely covered in soil but uh, they do look uh, good let's uh, pull some more in and just get me knock the grid out bargum they are uh, they're certainly not rotten <coughs> and as you can see they're uh, in a, at a good depth In fact, those are probably better ones than I've ever had for size. Get the rest of those out. The elephant garlic might be a little bit tougher to get out, if they haven't already rotten, gone rotten, should we say. And looking at those roots, there's definitely no white rot in there. Just ordinary rot. Well, I think that's the best red Russian garlic I've grown since that kind gentleman sent me a few cloves. Looking forward to seeing how they dry out and they uh, split. So, let's have a little look at this. Again, they were very deep. Oh, no, looks okay. I don't bother too much with the, uh, the ball blitz. Maybe it's just gone back. They look round, but I have noticed in the past when I've started to dry them, they're clean. Clean, that's the main thing. don't look like they've split yet let's get the one with the scape on now that one's uh, matured more some lovely big clothes in there and something nice to uh, stir fry on that one again I'll finish those off there's one here looks a bit yuck but it still produced a good solid bulb. Let's hope that the, the rottenness doesn't go down there. But again, you're better off, better to have some than none at all. Again, the roots look great. I'll get those washed off, then we'll move over, harvest the scapes off the others, and we'll just tidy them up a little bit. You can certainly see with that one that we had the scape on has done better so they may have suffered but still a good harvest and the round ones can still be if they still don't split you can plant them next year this year actually yum yum
so we can't really uh, grumble with those one was rotten as you could see there's no signs of allium uh, leaf miner so I am now considering growing uh, leeks again I was plagued with it before I'm taking the ball blitz home and the scapes we'll have a nice little uh, stir fry with that we'll leave this to dry here then we'll cut them down and uh, store them until they're ready to break open some people say not to split them open until you're ready to use them what's your opinion please leave me in the comments the issues you've had and uh, how you store them etc share your experiences and methods if you like the content please consider subscribing leave me a comment join in with those comments give those comments a thumbs up let me know how your garlic's got on with this horrendous weather that we've had here in the UK and uh, why not consider subscribing to see what else I get up to happy gardening to you all till next time my friends ta for now